Hey, what's up guys? Amazon just released their latest Eero Pro 6 tri-band mesh Wi-Fi router. This is using the latest in wireless standards, so it's Wi-Fi 6, otherwise known as Wi-Fi AX. That is basically the latest. It's going to give you the best possible speeds and the most possible range, assuming your device supports wireless AX. So it supports speeds up to gigabit on Wi-Fi and it covers up to 2,000 square feet. So I actually bought two of these and I'm gonna set them up. I'm gonna unbox one, obviously the other one's exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna set it up, connect everything, and do some speed tests and give you guys my opinions. In a separate video, I'm gonna show you how to do all the possible connections. So let's open this up. This thing also has the Zigbee Smart Home Hub built in as well. Nice box. It's kind of beefy. It's decently heavy. There's nothing on the bottom really. It says San Francisco. And yeah, you have the two Ethernet ports and there's a USB C. I'm assuming that's for power. Yeah. And these are auto sensing. So you could pretty much plug in one to the modem and one to like another router or another switch so you don't have to pick you could pick which one you want to plug in so i don't know what these are yeah so this is just telling you instructions and stuff and so you get a network cable probably cat6 if i had to guess seems pretty high quality and the power cable yeah so it's USB-C which I really like that they use USB-C and it uses 27 watts for anyone who cares about that and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna open up the other one and we're gonna get this all set up and we're gonna do some speed tests and range tests and everything I set up the Eero Pro Wi-Fi 6 routers, I played with it, I used different configurations, I even used the Eero 6 extender, and I'll get into the four options that I used, which is very consistent with how I tested my Nest Wi-Fi. But I have the iPhone 12 Pro here, which is a wireless AX device, or Wi-Fi 6, and I'm going to do a real quick speed test to show you guys live. This is the router right here, right next to me, so I'm going to do a quick speed test. And you can see I easily get over 400. So my ISP rates my internet at 400 down, 400 megabits per second down and 20 megabits per second up. And you can see that I'm pretty much getting that. I don't know why my upload is slow right now, but doing many, many tests, it, it was fine. So it's getting to like 15 now. But I got 470 down and 15 up essentially. Okay, I have... And that's a Wi-Fi 6 device connecting to a Wi-Fi 6 router. So now I have the iPad Pro third generation. So this only has wireless AC. So that's the previous generation. And I'm going to do a quick speed test of this to show you guys that you could still pretty much get, you know, 400 megs down with a wireless AC device. And yeah, so I got 454 down. And not sure why my upload's slow right now, but I mean, I usually get like 20, 23 or something, but okay, I'm getting like 15 or so. But you could see from these numbers that they're very close to each other from the wireless AC device, which is the iPad Pro, third generation, and the iPhone 12 Pro, which is the wireless AX device. Okay, so now I kind of want to get into all the different options and I actually have like wrote down all the speed tests that I did and all the results to give you guys a demonstration of what to do of what I did I should say so option one Eero Pro Wi-Fi 6 router by itself you don't need any other routers connected to this all you have to do is connect one of these ports anyone you want because they're auto sensing to the modem and if you want to have extra slots, you connect the other one to a switch and then you can hook up other Ethernet devices or you can connect this directly to your computer or whatever for option one, basically just one router by itself. Now, when you're close to this router, 
The best speeds that I got were around 480 down, very similar to what I just tested right now, and around 2023 20, up, megabits per second. Option two is I have a Eero Pro 6 router, which is hooked up to my modem and giving everything internet access, and I have a Eero 6 extender. Now this just requires power, a USB-C power cable, and it you cannot, it, there's no ethernet, ports on this or anything, this basically wirelessly extends your internet access, your network access, I should say. And this is option number two. So option number two, when I did speed tests, I got with the wireless AX device, obviously all of the options, if I'm close to the main router that's hooked up to the modem through ethernet, I'm gonna get those fastest possible speeds. So that 480 down, and that 2025 20, up, those are what I'm gonna get. But when I'm close to the extender, when I'm really, really close to this, with the wireless AX device, the iPhone 12 Pro, I got 217 down and I got 21 megabits per second up. With the iPad Pro, I got 192 down and 23 megabits per second up. So the iPad was a little bit slower than the iPhone, not by much, but again, both of the devices very, very close to this when I was doing the speed test. The farther I got away from this, the better AX was performing versus the AC router, uh, versus the AC device, versus the iPad. Option number three is two Eero Pro Wi-Fi 6 routers. So let's just say this one is the main one, and you basically, again, you connect you know, this side to the modem, and then you connect this side through with an ethernet cable to one of these slots. And basically it's called ethernet backhaul, which uh, this has a connection to this. You could put a switch in between the routers. You cannot put a switch uh, from the modem to a switch to the router. You can't do that. The router has to go to the modem first. After, so basically this is connected to the modem and then this, uh, from this slot you could go to a switch and then from the switch you could go to any one of these slots But basically they're wired to each other through Ethernet With option number three you're gonna get the best possible Wi-Fi connection because when I'm close to this the speed tests or when I'm close to this the speed tests are exactly the same So all throughout my place. It's very very fast when I'm really close to this, it's basically the same thing as being really close to this. So speed tests are basically both very close to 470, 480 down and 20 to 25 up, regardless if it was close to this or this. And that's because the ethernet between them is allowing it to be fast. Option number four is having both Eero Pro 6 routers, except this one. So this one is connected to the modem, like I said, but this one is not connected to this through ethernet. So they are wirelessly connected to each other. So this one, you basically have one ethernet cable going to the modem and then you know you could wire this to a switch if you wanted to, to get more ports that way. But basically nothing from that switch or nothing from this router with ethernets coming here. So it's basically, this is acting just like the Wi-Fi extender was acting where you know you just plug in the power here and you're done. So what is the difference between option four and option three? So when I did speed tests, again, when, you, when you're hooked up to the main one, you're gonna get the fastest possible speeds because it's connected to through ethernet. But option number four, when I did speed test, I got 332 down with the iPhone 12, which is the wireless AX device. And I got 232 down with the iPad Pro, which is the wireless AC device. So the wireless AX device was getting 100 megabits per second download faster and roughly the same upload, both at 23 megabits per second upload. So the wireless AX device, the iPhone 12 Pro, was shining here. And honestly, I was very surprised that it was so fast. And the crazy thing is that, I mean, it's not really crazy. Um, the only reason I said it was crazy is because between the Nest Wi-Fi point and the Nest Wi-Fi router when I did speed test, there wasn't much of a difference. But between these two, there's a huge difference. So with this one, 
this one basically the download speeds are about a hundred megabits per second faster within wireless AX device versus this so much faster even if this is wirelessly connected to the other router to option number four and the other thing is too with option number four versus option number two is that with option number four because this has because this is so much stronger it has so much and it's also tri-band as well but tri-band only really helps when you have a lot of devices connected at the same time but with with this one with this you could basically go much farther away and you'll still get very fast internet speed so basically when i went outside and i closed the front door and i was probably like 50 feet away or so from this i was still getting very fast like very fast internet speeds i was still getting i don't know like 250 260 down with this wirelessly connected with option 4 with the iPhone 12 Pro with the wireless AX device whereas with this one I was getting like 70 megs per second down at the same distance so huge difference between option 4 and option 2 yeah so if I had to put a priority on it option 3 would be the best uh, followed by option 4 followed by option 2 followed by option 1 so those were the speed test differences. So another thing that I tested because this box says that it can support up to gigabit Wi-Fi speeds. So they recommend if you have a wireless internet, if you have internet of a gigabit, which I don't, they recommend to get the Eero Pro 6 versus the Eero 6. So because I don't have that, I actually did something close and it's not really the same but it's I guess similar I actually did uh, a transfer between locally on my network between my iPhone 12 Pro and my network attached storage my Synology which is hooked up through Ethernet so normally from my computer which is also hooked up through Ethernet when I transfer stuff to my Synology normally I get the maximum gigabit speeds so I was like, okay, let me see if I can wirelessly transfer to that or wirelessly transfer from that to this and see if I could get those speeds. Now the best that I saw was around 64 megabytes per second down. So you multiply that by eight and what is that like 512? Is that 512 or am I saying that wrong? But anyways, around 500 megabits per second down essentially. And but average wise it was around 60 megabytes per second transfer speeds and which translates to 480 megabits per second because all you have to do is to go from byte to bit you just multiply the byte by 8 but yeah so I didn't really get those gigabit speeds that they were saying but again to be fair I probably would if I if I got if I if my internet was faster and I was doing speed tests I probably would get those speeds but because I don't have that, that was the next best thing to test. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I have a whole bunch of videos coming up with the router. I'm going to do a full-on explanation of how to connect stuff, full demo. I did something very similar to the Nest Wi-Fi, and I got a lot of people that liked it. So a lot of people thought it was useful. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to compare. I also got the Eero 6 router which is a lot smaller and much cheaper than the Aero Pro 6 router but obviously it's gonna be a tad bit slower but at least they rated it a tad bit slower so I'm gonna do some speed tests with this and set this up and do that but you can also get them to work with each other as well so the Aero routers do work with each other so they're backwards compatible and stuff so you could do that as well but Basically, I have a whole bunch of videos coming up. I'm also going to compare that with the Nest Wi-Fi. I've been using the Nest Wi-Fi for a while. I really, really like this router. But this is a wireless AC router, not a wireless AX router. So the Eero should be faster. And from what I could see, this, this does look faster than the Nest Wi-Fi. But Nest Wi-Fi has been really, really good, and it also costs less than this. So a few things to keep in mind, but I have a whole bunch of videos coming up and I have a whole bunch of tech videos coming up as well because I got some other stuff that I'm going to review. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching 
and thank you to all my current subscribers.